in this video we'll be dealing with packaging this is a grade 12 and grade 11 content let's look at this question a mathematical literacy teacher collected 86 rams of paper from helena's shown below is a picture and a diagram with the dimensions of a ram of a paper the picture of a ram of paper we have the type pack there of a4 the emission of that packaging or that rem length is 27,94 centimeters height is 6,35 centimeters width is 21,59 centimeters we also have the picture of a cabinet the teacher intend packaging the rams of paper in a secure cabinet as shown in the picture alongside. The dimension of a maximum space on one shelf are 12 centimeters long, 46 centimeter wide, and 39 centimeter height. Uh, let's highlight the word or the in packaging the thing that you should look for before you do anything is the measurement of the given information measurement must be the same you cannot package things as long as the measurement are not the same so i just want us to write the measurement down let's write the measurement of rem here if you look at the rems we're having the length which is given as 27 Comma ninety four centimeters, and then we have the height is given as six comma thirty six thirty five. I mean six comma thirty five centimeters. And then we have the width is given as twenty one comma fifty nine centimeters. This is the dimension of what of the rims. Then the cabinet, cabinet length is 102 centimeters and then we have the height is 39 centimeters we have the width is 44 centimeters by looking at this you can see that they are all in the same units for that reason there is no need for us to do conversion we just go straight and do the calculations so we know that when you calculate length goes with length length with length height with height and width with width so length lengthwise uh, let's look at the lengthwise along the way length gonna have length of what cabinet divided by length of a rem length of cabinet is 102 divided by of which is 27 comma 94 must always round down don't forget that you must always round down 102 divided by 27 comma 94 our answer is three we're gonna arrange three along the length so from there we go to height wise height of a cabinet cabinet divided by height of a rem height of a cabinet is 39 of a rem is 6,35 and then we do the calculations we're gonna say 39 divided by 6 comma 35 our answer here is 6 we round it down don't forget the last one is the width uh, the width wise going to be the width of what cabin cabinet divided by width of rem the cabinet here we are having 44 Divide by 21,59.
then if we check the calculations here 44 divided by 21,59 our answer here is 2 so after doing that we are now going to calculate the total number of total number of rams is going to be 3 multiply by 6 multiply by 2 and then our final answer is going to be 3 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 2 the answer is 86 and he collected how many of them he collected 86 from learners so we can conclude to say that yes he will be able to fit all of them he will be able to fit all of them will fit all of them so the next question says that give one reason why the teacher would like to pack the rams of the papers in the cabinet very easy for safety we can say for safety 